Hey everyone, this is John from MindSumo, and I just wanted to do a quick video to introduce our challenge on Smart Dust. I uh, really wanted to bring this to your attention because of how creative and interesting the problem we're trying to solve is, as well as uh, let you know that this is one of the biggest prize pools that we have going on right now, where the top submission can earn $1,500, second prize will earn you $700, and third prize will earn you $400. What I really love about this challenge is how creative and open it is. Uh, what we're really asking you to do at the end of the day is if you had tiny computers, think the size of a dust particle or a grain of rice, what could that be used for? We're finding that technology can become smaller and smaller and yet we haven't really thought through all the different use cases and scenarios where we can utilize this uh, tiny technology. Um, if you're a sci-fi fan, I'm sure you can come up with a couple of different ones. But even if you're thinking about, you know, how can I use this in my everyday life, um, there's a ton of applications that we just haven't thought of yet. Um, you can also take the approach of, if I was a business, what are some of the business um, potentials that I can come up with using this tiny technology? Again, we want you to get super creative here and think about where can we bring this technology in where traditional technology has been kind of limited. So when I think about this, I get really excited, for example, for you know, medical and health um, benefits. So being able to have this tiny computer inside your body to be able to constantly track how your body's performing or if you're not feeling well, seeing what's wrong. Uh, you can think about it in terms of what can you use this for for agriculture. So if you're farming and you have all these tiny sensors, how can I increase crop yields or take better care of my animals? Or maybe even in your daily life of um, just day-to-day -day operations, if you had tiny sensors around you um, in your clothes or in your furniture, what are some interesting information and data you can get from that that you can't do with... Um, just kind of your normal like phone or computer that you can do with a tiny, tiny computer. Um, those are just some ideas to help you get started, but before I let you go, let me just remind you what the three criteria for this challenge are. First is creativity, so definitely don't be afraid to think outside the box, but at the same time, make sure it's a realistic idea that you come up with that isn't too out there, but is um, something that most people haven't thought of yet. The second thing to consider is meeting deliverables. So make sure you go through and answer every single question that um, is listed in the deliverable section and really think about doing something on the bonus side as well. And finally, think about the uh, organization and communication aspect of your solution to make sure that your answer is very clear um, you have information that's cited and backed up from other sources and that you back up any recommendation or ideas with some sort of justification. Well, that's it. Really wish you the best of luck on this challenge. And definitely don't be afraid to tackle it. Again, you don't have to be an engineer or have a technology background. Just think about how tiny computers can impact your daily life and that's it. Well, good luck and we can't wait to see your solutions.